Hi and welcome back to my channel! Recently I bought a puffer jacket for cold summer days, but the sleeves were too long for me. So I decided to film a video and show you what I usually do in such situations. Stay with me if you want to know how to shorten a puffer jacket sleeves. Every garment is a kind of unique, so it depends on brand and the pattern used when making it. In my puffer jacket's sleeve there is a knitted sleeve cuff that is sewn to a lining and then connected to main material piece that folds inside and only then connects with an upper quilted layer, as it is shown in the video. I wanted to leave it as it is, so I needed to shorten only the upper quilted layer. I put the garment on and decide how much I want it to be shortened. It was the length from a one quilting line to another one, approximately 13 and a half centimeters. Then I check if the fabric is ok with the pins. You can't use pins with some of fabrics, as they leave holes in it. Mine was ok. Then I try the puffer jacket on again to make sure I like sleeve's new length. Then pull all the pins out. I love to look inside a garment sewn by someone else, as it feels like getting to know what's in the other person's mind. I begin with searching for a closing seam, that is, a seam that was made the last. Usually it is at one of the sleeves lining, but I couldn't find it anywhere in this puffer jacket, so I opened one of the sleeves lining seams by 20 cm. Then turned the sleeve out. I also unstitched bar tags that were connecting the cuffs lining to the insulation material. In order to release a sleeve cuff from the lining, I had to unsew it. Remove the sleeve lining layer and close the seam again. Then I unstitched the seam that connected the upper quilted layer with the sleeve cuff construction. I wanted to cut 13.5 cm off and top stitch the sleeve cuff on the quilting line like it was made before. I decided to leave a 1.5 cm seam allowance, so I marked it with an erasable marker. Before cutting I made a line of stitches 1 mm off the marker line to secure all the layers in one place. To do so I used a walking foot. It helps a lot when working with a thick piece with several layers. Cut the excess material off. It is important to divide the sleeve and the cuffs edges into four equal pieces, in order to distribute our fabric evenly. Thank you. 
Then I pin the cuff to the sleeve and top stitch 1 mm off the cuff's upper edge, just into the quilting line. I also hide all the threads inside. Don't forget to shorten the sleeves lining. I cut off 13 cm of it. Its seam allowance would be 1 cm as it was before. I also divide the lining's lower edge by 4 equal parts and then pin it to the cuff. Stitch the layers together right on top of the previously made seam. As the cuff is folded inside, we need to secure it in place. I do it in four places by hand stitching it to the insulation material. After that, I put the puffer jacket on once again and check that everything is ok. If it is, congratulations! Only one step is left – closing the sleeves lining seam. I tuck the seam allowances inside, pin two sleeve side edges together and stitch 1 mm off the edge. Then repeat all these steps for the second sleeve. And that's it! You are not afraid of buying a puffer jacket with slightly longer sleeves than you want them to be. You can fix it by yourself now. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!